Hello friends, this video on light part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have seen the various types of images which are formed by both concave and convex mirrors, so let's see where we can make use of them. So think of this one. So where have you seen this? So this is the shaving mirror. So what kind of images are formed in a shaving mirror? Now while a person shaves, he wants to see an enlarged image of his beard so that it helps him to shave in a better way. So enlarged image will be produced, can be produced by which type of mirror? Of course, concave mirror because in case of convex mirror, always diminished images are formed. Let's look at the next example where you see a torch. So the light coming out of the torch, what kind of light comes out of it? I mean, what kind of uh, mirror is present inside it? Obviously here also the type of mirror which is present inside is again a concave mirror. Why a concave mirror? Because a concave mirror acts as a converging mirror. So basically inside the torch you have a mirror and again you also have a lens inside the torch. So all of these combination together they help to uh, spread the light the way it spreads. Again if you talk about the rear view mirror of your car. What kind of mirror is this? This is nothing but the convex mirror because it gives erect image. It also gives diminished image which are characteristics of convex mirror. Think of the dentist mirror. Now if, if you have ever visited a dentist, you would have seen that they use a mirror with which they actually look at your teeth in more detail because that mirror produces enlarged images. So of course that is nothing but that's going to be a concave mirror. Again, you talk about um, the vehicle headlight, the headlight of your car or the headlight of any other vehicle. So there also it is a concave mirror because it focuses light on a small area. So here also you use a concave mirror. Think of the street light. So what kind of mirror is there in street light? So there you have convex mirror. Why? Do you know why? Because convex is a diverging mirror. So it diverges light. So it spreads light and that is what is needed from the street lights. So these are the various uh, applications of different types of uh, spherical mirrors based upon what kind of images they form. And you see they are extremely useful. Now do you think that in any of these situations the spherical mirror can be replaced with a plane mirror? Not really. So the dentist cannot use a plane mirror. In that case, he will be able to see the same thing which he is seeing even without a mirror. Again, do you think that a plane mirror would do instead of a convex mirror in a, in the rear view mirror of your vehicle? No, because the in plane mirror, the images will be of the same size as that of the object. So you will not be able to get the entire view of your back. So that is not going to help. So therefore spherical mirrors play a very important role because of their property of producing different types of images. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.